Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a 2021 Volkswagen Ardeon SEL Premium R-Line 4 Motion. This particular one is Lapis Blue, or as they say in Spanish, Lapis Blue. That would be Azul. But anyway, uh, this is a dealer trade that we got in that I actually have a customer that, that's already purchased this car, but they're taking delivery of it today as it came in from out of town. It, it features chrome window sills, all-wheel drive on the car, dynamic chassis control, 20-inch R-Line wheels, the R-Line front grille, front accents around the air in intakes on the front, LED lights, LED running lights, an LED light bar that goes in the, into the Volkswagen logo right there, R-Line badge right there in the front, such a beautiful, sexy car. Chrome accents along the side skirts on the base down here. Our line badging on the side as well, right there. Power folding mirrors, panoramic sunroof, power lift gate, LED tail lights, LED turn signals, LED reverse lights. This one has a bumper dillo. Also has a black spoiler on the trunk lid. There's a look at that panoramic sunroof closed. Our line badging again on the front. Keyless entry on four doors. And let's take a look inside. There's a look at your back seats there. Now you do have lumbar support here, forward and back here, seat back adjust here. Two seat memory along with massage seats. And as we climb in here, you're gonna notice Volkswagen's digital cockpit, of course. Let me turn down the fan here a little bit. Volkswagen's digital cockpit, it's fully customizable. So you can change the style as a crop screen, a dial screen, or the wide screen. And you can also change what's displayed in there. I've done a couple of videos where you can see that. Uh, yeah, I go over that in those. Being that it's an R-Line, it's going to have the sport grip at 9 and 3. Nice texture right there. Flat bottom, leather wrap steering wheel. It's a heated steering wheel as well. There's your heated steering wheel button right there. Paddle shifters on either side, of course. Uh, and then you do have that new Volkswagen logo and the new steering wheel set up here with the capacitive touch. Volume control is right here. Your adaptive cruise control set and resume is here. Uh, your plus and minus on the speed adjust is here. Travel assist is right here. Cruise control on and off is right there. Over here on this side, you have your voice commands here. That's also Google and Siri functionality right there. Um, and then, of course, the heated steering wheel, and this is your tabs for left and right for the mouse, and the two up and down arrows, or your up and down arrows for that, that as well. Uh, and then your song skip and preset skip is all right there. It's a telescoping steering wheel, adjustable, so you can adjust it where you want. You do have a coin box for storage over here with one US, I'm sorry, SD card holder right there. Automatic headlights with all weather lights as well. So I can push this button right here, and those are on. Uh, and then I do have a power lift gate down here. Uh, stainless steel pedal caps on all three locations here, the footrest, uh, and then the uh, gas and the brake, of course. And there's my sloth socks today. Uh, quick release for that hatch. That opens up from back there. There's a cargo cover that also goes up with that. You can't see out the hatch. But when I close this, lift up and hold. There it goes to close. Very nice. And then I do have a panoramic sunroof up here. We'll go back to that in a second. Harman Kardon audio right here. So uh, you do have uh, premium audio in this car, it's just not Fender, and it's not Dyn Audio. Uh, you have this silver finish here that has a carbon fiber panel in it, or a pattern in it. Uh, and then you do have this uh, 30 color ambient light display that shows up here. It also continues back into the uh, back doors as well. So it goes all the way around. Um, and then it comes down into the uh, phone tray down here, which is hidden here. And then goes across over here into this side. 
So you have that 30 color ambient light display and it also does the accents in the, um, the dish, digital cluster and on the radio too. So it changes those colors. Um, you do also have uh, AM, FM and satellite on this radio. So um, you get the MIB-3 radio, has gesture control. So I can wave my hand in front of that. And again, it's, it's striking out on me. But uh, it does work. You can do it, it's just I can't do it while holding a camera, evidently. Um, and then you do have a backup camera. The backup camera is pretty spectacular. It's an HD camera. Turn the wheel left, turn the wheel right. Yellow lines move accordingly. Green line goes straight back. Red line signifies where your bumper is. You do also have App Connect. App Connect's gonna allow you to do Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, or MirrorLink wirelessly. Um, connect it to those. After you set up your Bluetooth, it's gonna prompt you to set up your phone as well. Wireless charging right here in this tray, and there's a little cover here to cover that up. Uh, and then you do have capacitive touch for your climate control as well. Your heated seat is right here. Your ventilated seat is right here. And they all start out on high and then go to medium, then low, then off. Same on the passenger side over here. You do have uh, individual climate controls as well, so I can raise and lower my temperature here. There's also an option to sync these, and I can slide this across to adjust my fan speed. So it's all capacitive touch there. If I touch the menu button here, it brings it up on the screen here. I can do front and then rear controls. Uh, climate control in the back, I can actually control from up here as well um, and lock it out. Uh, and then I can also adjust fan speed right here. There's my sync button. Um, and then I do also have right here with the modes, if I bring that up here, DCC, um, I can adjust in the custom mode, the comfort level, normal comfort sport, what have you right here. So I can adjust here or adjust there. Uh, then steering, I can do normal or sport, drivetrain, all that stuff right there. Auto start, stop, shut off button is right here. And then over on this side, I have park assist. If I bring that up there, I can parallel park, perpendicular park, or even straight in park using, um, I can switch it using the turn signal there. Pretty cool that it does that. And then I can turn that off. I also have a 360 camera. The 360 camera has a camera in the nose, a camera in each mirror, and a rear view camera pieced together to do images. So I can change it to the front camera. Actually, it can on the Atlas. There we go. Okay, left side, front, rear, and then side, and then touch the roof, and now it's back to over the top. Um, you also have, uh, let's see here, let's go back to the rear camera, these different views. So I have this view here, I have the trailer view. Um, if I were to put a tow hitch on this, I can't see many people towing anything with an RD on, but it has that option there. Uh, and then I can close out of that. Um, and then I also have the park distance control with that, that turns it on and off. There's sensors at the front and also at the rear of the car to tell you when you're getting close to an object. The thing I like about the Ardeon though, nice flat dash, just like the Passat, super flat, lots of visibility out the front. The nice linear design on the vents that go across just like this. The Passat does that as well. The Passat actually copied the Ardeon. Um, and then it continues over into the door panel over here, the door handle, all that's integrated, and then into the light bar right here across the side. Um, there is a speaker in your A-pillar there, and also here, actually those aren't speakers, those are vents, so I stand corrected. Um, and then you do have your side assist light right there, if you can see that. Um, front assist, adaptive cruise control, lane assist, blind spot monitoring, all standard on this guy. And you just touch the tip here to get to those. There they are there and you can change between adaptive cruise control and regular cruise control. So um, you have that as well. Uh, side assist is your blind spot monitoring expanded to include uh, cars approaching you rather than just being in your blind spot. And then you have that rear traffic alert and front assist as well. Very nice. The glove box is pretty small. It's not gonna hold your manuals. Um, it's not big enough for that, but it does have um, storage for smaller things, registration and what have you. This one has cloth mats and it also has monster mats in the back. Here's a look at those heated and ventilated seats. The headrest, much like a tour egg right there. And then you do have the premium stitching in the door panels over here. Nice nice room for bottled, uh, bottled water, what have you there. 
Well, let's take a look at the back seat. Let's open this up here. Now, remember, this car is already sold, so I have the window sticker already off. This one's priced at $49,684. Extras are going to include the blue exterior, $395. $389 for uh, VW Carnet, safe and secure five-year package, which includes automatic crash notifications. Um, and then also you have monster mats for $235, Volkswagen logo puddle lights for $200, bumper dillo protection plate on the back for $150, and prepaid maintenance on this car for an extra uh, th uh, 30,000 miles, or for 30,000 miles instead of just 20,000 miles. That added $125, which brings you to that $49,684. Now, as I climb in here, I'll show you the leg room that I have back here. Lots of leg room, magazine pocket right here for uh, storage. Do also have uh, my own personal vents back here, heated seats in the back as well, on both passenger seats here in the back, the two outside ones, I should say. And I can control my temperature right here as well. And I also have a cigarette adapter, uh, plug-in and a USB-C right here in the armrest I did miss that in the armrest there there is if I pull that stock tag out of the way there there's your wire your uh, USB connections in there storage bin right here as well these are the stock tags from the car pretty good amount of storage in there for just you know odds and ends you have a debris cover right there that covers up your cup holders right there there's your rear view mirror. It's an auto dimming mirror, but it's not the home link mirror. It's just an auto dimming mirror. There's no buttons on the bottom. Uh, and then up above, there's your car net features right there. And also sunglass storage right there. We'll close that. Sunroof opens up. Pop up windscreen right there. Very nice. Lots of, lots of space here. This is a big sunroof. Um, you do also have a vanity mirror on each side right there with the light and over here as well a LED light on each side so as we look around back here in the back Harman Kardon speaker there again premium stitching in the door panels and ambient light in the door panels back here as well speaker down there as well leather seats all throughout car seat hookups here and here and also over here Armrest in the middle, right here. Adjustable headrest, all three seats. And as we climb out here, let's take a look at the hatch. Gorgeous, gorgeous color. Here's a look at the bumper dillo. Cargo cover that goes up. Lots of space here, there's your manuals there cargo blocks here the monster mats here and beneath this floor right here i can lift up this little strap here and i have a full size fifth wheel this is not a spare this is this is a, another wheel so it matches the wheels that are on the car there's your quick release subwoofer right there jack apparatus all right there and keep in mind you do get roadside assistance free for three years thirty-six thousand miles bag hook hidden right here and a bag hook hidden right here led trunk light here and also an led trunk light over here and you have a little storage bin there and a little space over here as well button for the lift gate right there it does say four motion in the bottom right corner of the hatch your rear view camera is also inside of there here's a look at the car with the sunroof open very nice looking car this car comes with a four-year, 50,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty on it from Volkswagen. Four years, 50,000 miles, which includes two years of free maintenance. This particular car has a 30,000-mile prepaid maintenance uh, feature added to it. So this has three years of free maintenance, your 10, 20, and 30,000-mile uh, maintenance. Also, if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's, we're going to give you a 10-year, 200,000-mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. 10 years, 200,000 miles nationwide free of charge. If you're interested in this car or any other car like it, well, you can't buy this one, but if you're interested in a car just like this one, give me a call, 636-290-4257. 636-290-4257. I'm on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter at Reese Sells Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy. Have a great day.